Now then, welcome to another video. So this week I've been painting more Baron's War stuff, predictably. Uh, so what I've got done is uh, my eight spearmen. Um, you've pretty much seen those before on my basin tutorial. I'll just show you a couple of them. Um, if we can get this camera to focus on them. Yeah, so there's one. Uh, I think the cast, uh, replacing the cast spears with uh, the metal rod and putting the, uh, the spearhead on has worked really well. They're just a lot more sturdy. They're not going to bend or, or break or anything like that. Um, it's a bit of faffing about, but I think it's worth it. Um, there's the star of the show from uh, my basing tutorial. Um, yeah, I think they've turned out all right, these guys. They're not in uniform or anything, so I can use them for whatever whatever warband I want. Or I keep saying warband, but it's a, it's a retinue, isn't it? Um, so that's those done. I also got the falconer done uh, there. There he is. This is that limited edition of figure I got from Colonel Bills. There he is with his little angry budgie. His little falcon. Quite a nice figure, that one. No idea what I'm going to use him for. He'll probably just be hanging about on the table just as a table filler more than anything. Um, talking about table fillers, I got my rabbits done. There they are. Just put them all on a 40mm circle. Um, I'm going to built the base, I actually built it up a little bit and tried to um, carve out some little rabbit warren holes, you know, in it, but then I ended up covering it in flock and static glass so you can't actually see it, but never mind. <laughs> there they are, another little table filler, um, got a couple of foxes done, there we go, got a couple of little foxes there, try and get it to focus on these, there we are, I think. One sat chilling, and one with a, a, an unfortunate little bunny rabbit in its mouth. Um, really enjoyed painting these little little animals. It's a nice change from painting painting your troops up. And again, it's just stuff to scatter around on the table, isn't it? Um, got my deer done. There's uh, there's a stag. If wants to focus on it. There we are. And these are from war bases, really nice figures. And there's the hind there. Uh, and that's that's about it for the, the actual miniatures I've got painted this, this week. Um, what I've been doing is chipping away at my terrain, all the stuff I bought at Partizan. I'll we'll have a quick look at that. First up then, uh, I've got a load of boxes and barrels done. And um, these are just dead useful for scattering around on the, on the table next to all the buildings and things and putting in all, all the little carts, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, they're just, it's just a bit of scattered terrain more than anything else. Uh, I can use it for multiple things, uh, not just uh, the Baron's War, but uh, whatever, whatever game I'm playing, I can use these. Uh, they're pretty interchangeable, aren't they? Uh, and then at the back there, I started assembling all the MDF on 3D printed stuff. I've got a partisan, so I've got my my two market stalls there. Some of the buildings I've got built uh, with a little well, um, the little market trolleys and the carts. So this cart, it's only after I built it really, uh, when I started building it, I realised it had actually got a tap and stuff on the back of it. So yeah, it's definitely a beer cart. The little bucket that comes with it, I just glued it on. Um, so I've ordered some draft horses from war bases to pull these. I found these old Winedra bases I've had for ages that I've never used. Um, and it'll kind of fit on there just nice. Like that, the draft horse pulling it. Um, same as with the, the larger four-wheeled cart. So if you can imagine that, and you can fit these these boxes and barrels and things in the back of it. Um, be quite good for like an ambush scenario or something or or a raid, might get some outlaws or something like that. That'd be quite good. Uh, yeah, and that's about it uh, this week. Um, but I have to paint you one more thing. Uh, it's not Baron's War related, but I'll, I'll show you it anyway. Two seconds. So a good mate of mine, uh, been friends since we were kids. He's really into Blood Bowl. Um, it's not my cup of tea, but he's, been paint he's not been painting. He's been collecting Blood Bowl figures since the early 90s. He never paints anything. He's so frustrating. 
Um, and when you have a game of Blood Bowl with him, it's always, always with unpainted figures. So I've taken it upon myself just to start painting all this stuff for him. I painted a few teams already. I painted his High Elves, Dark Elves and Dwarfs. And I've got his um, Undead team there in a box, which I'm going to get to. But this is the old Metal Ogre Star player. I think it's from 1992 or something like that. Um, completely unpainted. Unassembled, so I've pinned him all together and got him painted for him. I think he turned out quite nice. There he is. Good looking lad, isn't he? Yeah. Cool. I enjoyed painting this one. It was a nice, nice little break, painting something a bit more fantastical if you if you like a bit of an ogre. Um enough of that nonsense though. That'll be going to him on Tuesday when we get back to work, because obviously it's a bank holiday this weekend. Um that's about it this week. Thanks very much for watching. Um, really appreciate all your comments and everything like that. I enjoy reading them. Uh, yeah, remember to give it a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will speak to you again very soon. Bye-bye.